Hello, as always, I'm Sam McCoy. Today, we are going to talk about air gel. Ah, what does it mean? What is it used for? Wait, I know what it's used for, because... Yeah. Style your hair. Welcome to the show. Today, we'll be talking about air gel. We have three kinds of hair gel here today, and they are all amazing and used for one purpose. To style your hair to make it look sexy and attractive to the other gen. Unless you don't like the other gen. To make it look sexy and attractive. <laughs> that's got awkward fast. Now I was wondering the other day, what is hair gel? What is it made of? How does it work? Well, it turns out the hair gel is mostly made of water. Yeah, how do you like that? Water and starch and a little bit of acetyl alcohol. Seriously, I'm paying money for water? This is just like when I buy bottled water. But that's beside the point. How does hair gel work? You see, to figure out how hair gel works, first you need to understand how your hair works. Think of your hair. Now, think of your hair wearing a coat. That coat is made up of proteins because your hair is basically just a bunch of dead cells that have grown out of your head. And because they're all dead cells, that's why you never feel it when the barber cuts off your hair. That's why it doesn't feel like you're being murdered with a pair of scissors and having your fingers slowly cut off when your hair is getting cut. Ah, that was morbid. Because they're all dead cells, they have proteins on them. Because they did come out of your body and there's proteins in your body. Now this protein coat around your hair is made up of polymers. Polymers are surrounded by solvent molecules. Now the solvents are what get all the water off your hair eventually. You know, like when it dries off, and then your hair falls down to the sides, it's all silky smooth if you like that. But if you're like me and you look like an idiot when your hair is silky smooth and down to the sides, you want to use hair gel. On a molecular level, the polymers of hair gel are positively charged. And to see what that means, think of your hair that is normally negatively charged. They're all crumpled up polymers. They look like this. They don't take up a lot of space. Now you have the positively charged ones, which makes them stretch out. They're uncrumpled. They're uncoiled polymers. And you see, this takes up a lot more space than this takes up. And so, once this is taken up all the space and it's pushed out all the coiled up polymer, get out of here, this is my space. <laughs> Who uses my space anymore? Ah. Then the hair gels, which are positively charged, keep the solvents from putting your hair down. Once the solvents have been beaten into submission by the onslaught of positively charged atoms due to the hair gel, then your hair can be styled and put together however you want. It's nice. I enjoy it. Now, of course, the ratings of hair gel, because yes, there are actually ratings of hair gel, tell you exactly how viscous it is and how much hold you'll actually keep. That said, there are a lot, a lot, a lot of different kinds of hair gel. There's the normal hair gel that we're usually familiarized with. It comes out and it looks like that. You rub it on your hands and then you put it in your hair and it gets styled and amazing. However, there are also things such as the hair mousse. If there's a mousse that styles hair? That would be amazing. The hair mousse comes out looking like this. <laughs> Uh, the hair of mousse comes out looking like a little cloud. Same as before, you just rub it together, and this one's a lot messier, wow. And you rub it into your hair, and it gets exactly the way you want it. It's amazing. However, unlike hair gel and hair mousse, which are able to dry out very quickly, there's a third and increasingly popular kind of hair gel, or pomade as it's called. I personally prefer this kind. Now the pomade smells really good. The pomade is a thicker, waxier substance. It does not dry out as quickly as the hair mousse or hair gel, which means it holds the shape of your hair for a lot longer. And that's pretty much the goal of hair gel. You want it to stay in shape and you want it to stay looking good. And hair wax is actually the only type of hair gel that doesn't have alcohol. However, don't see why that's really important. I mean, you're not drinking hair gel, and if you are, you're probably dead. It's even likely that hair wax was the first kind of hair gel ever used. People who were gathering honey probably gathered up the beeswax. And then they melted down the beeswax and thought, you know what, hey, this stuff would make my mustache very shiny if I put it into that. And they rubbed it into their mustaches, or they rubbed it into their hair. And then it hardened and it kept the shape of the hair that they wanted. In conclusion, what is hair gel? Mostly water. Positively charged water and starches and alcohol that hold your hair where it wants to be. And it makes you beautiful. But you've always been beautiful and always will be. I hope you've learned a lot from this and I will see you next time. See you later.